Oh, wow. So, I guess, like I said, I wished my amp sounded like a Kemper. Oh. Oh, that's so wrong. In the arms of the angel. What's up, nerds? My name is Corey Bergeron, and you are watching Corey Bergeron Recordings, and this is another Kemper Blindfold Challenge, a game where I take a real guitar amplifier make a digital profile of it, and then have the owner of the guitar amp try and guess which one is the profile and which one is the real amp. So this is going to be the second episode. Be sure to check out the first one I did with Calvin McCormick. I will leave a link in the description. The guitar player that's going to be doing the challenge is my good friend Robbie Rigg over there. He's the lead guitarist of the Lionels and he's also a songwriter extraordinaire. And uh, we're going to be shooting out this amplifier. To be quite frank, I don't know very much about it, so I'm going to let him kind of talk about it. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. The amp, it was built in the 60s. It's uh, originally built by uh, Pine Electronics. It's kind of like a Sears brand. It's pretty well a clone of a Fender Champ. It's probably like five or eight watts or something. My dad bought it initially to use it for harmonica, and then his good friend, his name's Rick Steves, uh, he rebuilt it for my dad, did some funky stuff, gave it its edge or something. Corey and I recorded did some freaky stuff on our first album with it. We used it on the entirety of Lionel's forthcoming album, which you'll have to stay tuned for. It sounds meaty and warm. I love it. I really love it. <laughs> uh, we're two for two on that one. <laughs> We've uh, developed a little love-hate relationship. I've been thoroughly impressed by it. Honestly, it's a great tool. I think if it fooled Calvin, it can definitely fool me. <laughs> to be quite honest. <laughs> Clean test. Tone one. Right now it just sounds nice. And I'm, I'm thinking that if this is the camper, this is going to be pretty hard. <laughs> Well, all right, I'm assuming this is my amp, but I don't know. Clean test. Tone two. Oh, man. Right now, just initial right off that switching. Uh, I'm because <laughs> now I'm thinking this is my amp. Don't even ask me why, it's very close. Uh, so after playing both, whichever they were, I think the first amp is the Kemper, and I think the second one is mine. It's very close, and I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Robots are taking over. Crunch test. Tone one. Sounds pretty damn good. <laughs> Still don't know which one is which. Sounds pretty f***ing good. <laughs> oh, there I am with the F-bombs again. <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. Sounds great though. <laughs> you got me by the balls right now, Corey. You got me by the balls. Crunch test. Tone two. Thank you. 
second amp is the Kemper, and if it's not, I wish it was, because the first amp sounded better to me. Uh, the second one I found sounded a little bit thinner and grainier. If I'm wrong, well, screw me. <laughs> I'll have to buy a Kemper. After playing both of these amps in crunchy mode, I think amp number one was my amp. Amp number two was the Kemper. <laughs> Results. Oh man, you're laughing, that's not a good sign. Ha ha, clean test. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well, I feel a little good now. Gotta go brush the shoulders off, but it might be too early for that. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Crunch test. Oh, wow. So, I guess, like I said, I wished my amp sounded like a Kemper. Oh, oh that's so wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's believable, isn't it? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, I would have thought I would have been fooled, actually, by the clean tone. Yeah, what I heard from the Kemper sounded slightly more desirable at the time to me. It was kind of like the, the, the mid, I found. The mid-range was like actually more, uh, I don't know how to, I don't have the right terminology for it, but the, the it was there. It was there and it sounded nice to me, so I was like, oh, it must be my amp. Dude, robots can't feel. So <laughs> that's what my train of thought was. And I was fooled. This robot has learned to love. I would love to have one to record with, probably, considering how accurately it can mimic just about any amp because there there have been times where it's just like we're here we've got three or four amps going and we're like shit this is still just not quite what we was looking for um so i think it's an extremely valuable tool for that live i'm not sure <laughs> if it wasn't a tweed casing <laughs> yeah exactly right if you can make it look like a fender you know just put a sticker over the screen <laughs> yeah, I'm just turning up the mids right now. I'm not sure about live. It makes sense. So is it an aesthetic issue, or is it like a sonic issue? Um, God, I guess I'm vain. <laughs> it's probably an aesthetic thing. Like, like, I just couldn't picture the stage is being loaded with all our gear. Alex has got an SVT classic. They just roll out this puny little computer box, and, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I gotta have to... <laughs> I, just, I just can't picture it, man. I don't know. On the other end, too, like, it'd be cool. You know, some days don't have to really lug much to practice. You could probably run that thing through a PA and it'd sound great. There you go. So, you know what? I probably would buy a camper someday. There you go. I'm sorry, Calvin. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to actually sit in a room with it, uh, running through the cab. <laughs> Sounds like a real amp. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm impressed. Anything you want to plug? What have you been listening to? Is your band up to anything? Any solo projects? Any tours? Any shows? Any, uh, you just want to plug your Instagram, YouTube? What do you got going on? What do you want to tell the people? So the Lionels are going to be releasing an album this coming. Also this year I will be touring with Sly High, the Sly and the Family Stone tribute band. Yeah, we're going to be playing theaters all over Ontario. You can follow me on Instagram at Robbie Rig. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, let's do the Nardwar thing. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Robbie, for being in the video, being a good sport, and uh, having fun with the whole thing. Uh, make sure to go check him out on Instagram and check out his band, The Lionels. They're one of the best bands around town. And other than that, if you like the Kemper Blindfold Challenge, let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a thumbs up. Uh, they're a lot of fun to make, and I might be the guitar player in the next one because it's only fair after uh, <laughs> putting Calvin and Robbie through that. As always, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Yeah.